until you came I was breathless when we first met Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I am super excited for today's video. I figured we would jump right on in. If you are new around here, I want to say at the beginning of COVID, our fridge and freezer completely broke and we ended up needing to buy a smaller fridge that we kept in the corner of the kitchen. And through so many different hurdles and things like that that we had to face, we finally got a new fridge and I am so excited. I cannot wait to share with you guys. So of course, the first thing I did was run to the Dollar Tree to pick up a couple of things so I can organize the fridge. But before we get into the organizational part of this video, I'm going to quickly clean up the kitchen, get some dishes done, wipe down the countertops, and then I can finally show you guys our new fridge and how I was able to organize everything. So much for clicking on today's video my name is Nia and I'm a working mom who shares real life everyday messes so on my channel I post tons of cleaning and organizational videos along with quick and easy recipes for busy moms my hope is to inspire and motivate you to tackle anything on your to-do list whether that's getting your home in order or trying to figure out what's for dinner so if you enjoy content like this please consider subscribing I would love to have you and also make sure to introduce yourself in the comments so I can personally say hi quietly playing with her play-doh also not to mention i do have a diy play-doh recipe on my instagram i saved it as some highlights so if you guys are looking for fun and easy things to do with your little ones especially while we are all kind of still stuck in the house definitely make sure to go follow me over there but i'm gonna clean this up really quick and then i'm gonna finally show you guys what we're working with with the new fridge but i'm worth it because i'll slip into your dreams tonight oh Take it to Mars, oh, I'll stick like glue inside your mind. Just watch me break in your sweat. You're falling into me, touch me, I swear. You would do anything that I want, so keep us awake till the dawn. Ooh, baby, feel free. I wanna make you sweat on me. I wanna make you sweat on me. Okay, so our new fridge is finally here. You guys have no idea how excited and happy I am because literally it has been a journey just to get this working and in the house and everything like that. So it is an LG uh, fridge and this is what it looks like. It has the freezer down at the bottom and then the water system here. So if you open up, I'm gonna show you guys a before this is what we're looking like. And to be honest, it's of course not even organized at all. We literally just had it installed yesterday. So um, we just 
threw everything in there and yeah this is what it's looking like so we do have this drawer here I was thinking about putting this stuff for like Riley stuff and then we have these two drawers right here and then um shelving and then of course we have um shelving on the side as well so for the freezer we have this drawer on top where we have ice and then just a couple of other um foods that we just threw in there and then down here is where all of our like um ice packs and stuff so we can separate the bin and we can move this thing as well so um let's get to organizing but don't you try to call me so I'm starting off by removing everything from the bottom three drawers. I don't want to take everything out of the fridge entirely just because as a mom, you never know what could happen. And the last thing I want to do is have food sitting out on the counter. So I figured I would start off with these three drawers and then I'm going to spray it down with my water and vinegar mixture just to clean it up a bit because like I said, this is a brand new fridge. And then I'm going to go in with the Dollar Tree bins that I picked up, which I will show you guys shortly. So I went to the Dollar Tree the other day and picked up a couple of things. If you guys have been around on my channel for a while, then you know I love the Dollar Tree, their products, and even their organizational stuff. I picked up about four of these larger baskets and bins. And then I guess I have three of these, like kind of like medium-sized ones. I thought these would be good for like the drawers. And then I got two of like the deeper bins and then just one of these. So I'm going to start by removing all of the tags off of the bins and then wiping them down with the water and vinegar mixture. And then I'm going to really just start to play around with the different bins and see the best way that everything can fit inside of the fridge, specifically the lower drawer, because that's where I want to put all of like Riley's things and really keep all her stuff organized. Chasing fame and being pretty all the time Doesn't sound like fun You can do better Let me show you what a good time looks like You can do better So much better larger bins I figured this was a great way to store all of the lettuce packages that we do have the two bins that usually call for like um, vegetables and fruits I didn't want to have them both be vegetables so I figured this was a really great way to organize everything on one of the shelves you can. 
On the bottom shelf is really where I wanted to put all of our drinks, specifically the milk, because as you guys can see, it is on the side door. And I know you're not supposed to store any type of drinks, specifically milk, on the side door just because you are always opening and closing the fridge. So you see me struggling a bit to adjust the shelving units. And I also figured on the other side of this shelf, I could also put all of the lettuce. wanted to do was to wash all of our fruits and vegetables ones that you want to just quickly grab and eat I know personally for me I am more likely to eat strawberries and blueberries and all of that stuff if they are already washed and even cut so I'm rinsing all of our fruits and vegetables putting them in a container so this way during the day all we have to do is grab them and eat them right away you make me feel like I'm made of Pinterest, the best way to store apples is actually in the fridge. It helps them last a lot longer. So I figured that maybe putting them in the bin and then taking the lettuce and putting that in the drawer might be a little bit better, but I felt like I wasn't able to fit as many um, containers of lettuce in the drawer compared to actually in the basket. So I did a quick swap and put all of the apples into the bin and then put all of the lettuce back into the basket. I was able to fit one of those bigger bins and I figured that I would put all of our like stuff that we use to make smoothies like all of our frozen fruits and things like that and then on the side I was able to put any just like extra like frozen meatballs french fries and all of that stuff the actual drawer in itself was so deep so what I ended up doing was putting some of the extra chicken nuggets that we have for Riley down at the bottom and then this way the bigger basket would be propped on top really allowing us to maximize the space I wanna say no Okay. 
Okay, so on the doors I put all of like our condiments and things like that. I had to be careful up at the top just because um, if it was too high we wouldn't be able to close it. So that's why there's only a couple things over here. And then over here again is just more of like our sauces and um, coffee creamer and then butter and everything like that is up at the top. Don't mind the blinking, it's just because I kept the door open. Um, but up at the top is all of our um, stuff that we've cooked, so leftovers and then also some eggs. And then on this second line, I tried to put basically all of our like fruits. And for me, I'm trying to eat a lot healthier. So I need to have my fruits like cut up, washed and everything like that because it's just easier for me to grab. So I washed and cut everything up. And then in here is basically just like avocados. And then I put all of Riley's juices in this little container here just to kind of keep them all together. And then here is where all of our yogurts are. Just something easy to quick, quickly grab. And then on this main shelf is where are like our juices and also some vegetables. And then here I use this basket to store all of our like lettuce to make salads. I washed the um, grape tomatoes. Here is some carrots that were already washed and I think um, just with a little bit of hummus in there and then some spring some spring mix lettuce in the back down in these drawers is all of our vegetables and then I put the apples in here I do have some limes for when I like to make um, guacamole and then you could also put it in water as well and then this is some pizza dough I didn't have anywhere else to put it so I just kind of stored it in here not something we have all the time but it's from Riley's birthday and then this main shelf is basically all Riley's. So she's obsessed with the yogurt drinks. I tried to like store them all together. And then some apple sauces right here 
her string cheese and then whatever block cheese was left over because it couldn't fit in here. So I put all of our like shredded cheese in there. Um, some feta cheese, some hummus, and then underneath here is some um, turkey bacon and then some bacon on the side. At the top, I used one of those larger bins. Sorry for the lighting, guys. Um, but yeah, at the top, I have a large bin that just has all of our frozen fruits for making smoothies. And then over here on the side are just kind of like extra stuff. So like we have some meatballs and then turkey sausage and then um, these tiny little um, pancakes for Riley and then some leftover ice cream cake. And then what I really like here is the fact that this um, drawer is so deep. Here is all of our um, ice packs. I kind of just left those there for right now. I'm not a hundred percent in love with how the bottom is, but this is just going to have to do for right now. And then at the very bottom, because it's so deep, we were able to store some of Riley's um, chicken nuggets down there. And then I just put her pizzas and her chicken nuggets that we like to keep in a bag right there. And then over here is just some of my food, some daily harvest stuff that I picked up. So yeah.